first one is called Lists. New Year's Eve in Times Square, 1982. I took my kids. The girl was still in the stroller. I don't remember seeing the ball drop. After midnight, the police rode through on horseback, smashed bottles in the street. We took the F train back to 2nd Avenue. It wasn't very cold that year. I considered it a success. No injuries, no blood, and I still had both my kids. <laughs> a clear victory, even if we never saw the ball drop. <laughs> my accomplishments in those years were few. Keeping track of my kids counted for something. Supposedly, I am now more accomplished. December 2017, I write lists commemorating my achievements. Included our car maintenance and keeping medical appointments. The absence of dental emergencies is a coup. My teeth never intended to live this long. I sidestep the years, count backwards every third birthday. There's always another last wave. Patty Smith is 71 today. She probably never spent a New Year's Eve in Times Square. I should have worked in the Strand bookstore like Patty and Ron. Instead, I sold textbooks at Barnes and Nobles. I should have gone right instead of left, but the left turn won out every time. Some people set benchmarks and goals. Publish a book. Record an EP, travel, tour, fall in love. I decided to set some goals too. Number one, watch all the seasons of Game of Thrones. <laughs> so far I'm ahead of schedule. I lied to myself about several goals, like take a fiction workshop and a photography course and develop a more positive attitude. Ha <laughs> ha. There's a question on my list. How do you avoid writing depressing poems when you're always depressed? <laughs> I'm listening to Patty on her 71st birthday. Beats listening to myself. Recently at an open mic, I read a very sad poem and burst out laughing in the middle of it. Even I couldn't take it. <laughs> Maybe it was a humorous poem after all. Maybe it was a turn to the right. Maybe it will be featured as an accomplishment on next year's list. Reading Bukowski on Love, New Year's Eve 2018. Two pasteles, five shots of coquito, three Twilight Zone episodes, an ongoing flirtation, email trails, poems, an unexpected plan, rice and beans, a drunken phone call, a supermoon, an ex-boyfriend's message, Motown in the hallway, Game of Thrones, a small cup of ice cream, a broken mug, redemption song, the honeymooners, the family next door, an almond croissant, a cold walk, a dog, heat, four shots of coquito, a window, a bed, on love, a coulda and a shoulda, one shot of coquito, a bed, on love, happy heat. Thank you. I love that piece.